And I call her sister because I instantly connected with her as soon as I saw what she was doing with and in her channel. She has a heart. She has a heart for our people back home and she's really doing it with all her heart. The passion, the drive, the everything that she has put in to make this thing work is what just got dropped into my heart and say, hey, 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 hey. I don't know what it means. Guys, you don't know what it means to live everything that you've known, everything that you've had since, since your childhood. You don't know what it means to just live everything that you have been used or known to you since your childhood and you just drop everything and start everything from scratch. It looks exciting. It sounds exciting until you start it and you're like, oh my God, oh my goodness, somebody should have prepared me well for this because it's not what it really seems until you really have somebody who can really show you what to do. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to our YouTube channel. And if you don't know me, my name is Millie. And we oftenly do this with my husband, Chris, who is not here. When you don't see him, of course, he's busy somewhere trying to make our life work together for our good. Uh, being a good husband, he's out there just doing what he does best. And uh, thank you, baby, for the sacrifice, for the love and everything while we are here just doing what we got to do with DeMario. So uh, earlier I'd already done a video and I'm just here doing an intro for this. Uh, you are a DV Lottery winner. I'm here to say congratulations. Congratulations, DV Lottery winners. I think the ones who are already doing the interview right now are the 2024. I'm still trying to learn this because uh, it's not yet good, uh, well known to me because the kind of visa that I used to come here in the US is a different type of a visa. So I'm trying to learn and understand it better of how all this visa for the DV Lottery is, how they call it. I think I hear all I hear all the time, some of them say DV Lottery 2024, 2025, 2023. It's still, I'm still kind of in there trying to find out how the years go. But what I'm trying to say, the ones who are doing their interviews right now, I want to say congratulations for winning and being chosen with a random, uh, they call it a random win or something like that. But congratulations for that first move. And as you go in for your interviews, I want to say uh, all the best and may, may our good Lord lead you as you are. Uh, as you're all doing this interview, may you be led by the Spirit of God to do the right thing as you plan to go for your interview. And when you win it, uh, we are looking forward to see you here. So the reason why I'm doing this today, it's because I want to... Let me let me give you a little story. There's a there's this friend of mine who is... I'm doing this is because there's this uh, sister of mine. I call, her sister. I call her sister because I instantly connected with her as soon as I saw what she was doing with and in her channel she has a heart she has a heart for our people back home and she's really doing it with all her heart the passion the drive the everything that she has put in to make this thing work is what just got dropped into my heart and say hey 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 she is doing it as a ministry this is not just a channel she's not just doing it as a whatever she is doing it because she has a heart to help she has a heart to see people happy she has a heart to see uh, everyone transition well into this country you don't know what it means Guys, you don't know what it means to live everything that you've known, everything that you've had since, since your childhood. You don't know what it means to just live everything that you have been used or known to you since your childhood and you just drop everything and start everything from scratch. It looks exciting. It sounds exciting until you start it and you're like, oh my God. Oh my goodness, somebody should have prepared me well for this because it's not what it really seems until you really have somebody who can really show you what to do, embrace you, kind of uh, lead you the way, give you tips on what is happening, show you where to do your grocery, uh, give you a house to live in and uh, show you where you can apply your job and know what to do when you need an application, maybe to do driving and all that. And my sister Charlene, she's already doing that. She is making life for people easy. And, and I looked at what she did and God spoke directly into my heart and told me, look at her. She's been a, there's a, there's a video I think she shared. I don't know how I randomly bumped into it, but the Holy Spirit led me to watch that. And I saw her testifying or sharing a story of how a group, a group, I, I'm sorry to use this, but this is what happened. A group of our fellow Kenyan people 
just kind of dissing her or just coming for her because she decided to help she decided she decided to make life easy for people who have coming here like making their transition or their relocation very easy and and that is a blessing that is a blessing and whoever was trying to stop that i really don't understand why because god is using our sister charlene i've not talked to her and she doesn't know i'm doing this but i'm doing this because she doesn't know me she didn't know me when god was saying this but we are slowly connecting and i'm seeing yeah she is a person who has a heart to help people even when we are still doing this over the phone i can still feel the passion in her voice the passion in her heart she understands these people better than me she she knows what is entitled to them she she ha she she feels them more than anything and Charlene may go our good lord uh richly continually bless you it is it is something that you're doing because it is a heart you have it's not just about anything else that people might think you have a heart to help our very own people and may god bless you so if you're coming to the united states all over the world we're not just saying about africa and you feel and you know that you know nobody here you have no way out like there are no connection for you in the united states these are the people we are talking about these are the people we are reaching out to help these are the people who we feel we have a burden to go and just make their life easy we we, we don't want people who who know it all who know what to do when they land here we are looking for people who just don't have any how they have no connection they have no relatives or even if they have those are not the people who are going to help them do it so these are the people we are going for just to kind of help you transition help you relocate help you have a life and uh through god's grace through god's guidance and with the leadership of the holy spirit we will get the right people who need this help because uh, I feel it's the help that the Lord has given us. So guys, uh, feel blessed and take care. And uh, if you're new here and you ever consider subscribing, just take your time and subscribe to our channel. God bless you and uh, take care. Yeah.